My name is Casey. Online, I am consciousnessexploration.com, and together as a group, we have clustered together as we are the Galactic Travel Channel. December 24th, last year, an active attempt at lucidity on board a space station. I'm going to read this to you. I am in a contained space in which there are approximately 20 or so other people, men, women, and children. Something like the idea of a small space station or cargo ship, bare bones setting for survival. The area and breathable air slash environment has to be maintained and protected from outside elements. This is what we are here doing. I am pulling one woman aside, Caucasian, blonde hair, blue jumpsuit, and asking if she would like to play a game. We wheel to the side of the area in the chairs we are sitting in, and I tell her to look around and pick one player. I specifically use the word player. She catches this and does not like it, so I say, person. Pick one person and deliberately look very closely at them. I am attempting to come lucid and bring at least one other person here with me into lucidity. With this action from me, a distraction is created in the space. Across the room is a plastic pouch full of a clear liquid, which someone has forgotten to peel a plastic label back away from. I immediately begin looking into and remedying the situation. When I go to peel the label back, the pouch is ruptured and a stream of air shoots into my face. This startles and confuses me, but not so much so that I lose the little boy I had chosen for myself as a point of focused lucidity. I am seeing into the sleeping quarters of another member of this crew now. There is a woman and man here and the boy. They are all having fun. The woman and the boy are sitting on the left side of the bed. The man has rigged a device made of electric hair rollers and Barbie-type dolls to the roof, to which he has rigged a control mechanism that, when pressed, causes the structure to vibrate and the dolls seem to flit and dance. The boy laughs and laughs and laughs. They keep pushing the button. The boy keeps laughing each time, again and again. He is about four years of age, blonde, short, curly locks. There is a voice in the background saying how delicious he is. As I shift back into physical space, I am thinking, what the heck? <laughs> Bringing back dreams every day. I'm wondering how many people out there listening to this bring back with them into physical space each day their dreams. I'm wondering how many of you out there bring back your dreams at all, in, at all enough to maybe write down and look at later uh, in order to retain for any sort of purpose whatsoever. You may even be wondering why you would want to do such a thing, and we'll get into that in the next video. Why dreaming? Why remembering? What, what purpose does this serve? How can this help? It does, and because it does, I'm doing this series. I want to help as many of you as I can bring your dream state back into the experience of who you are in this life experience. Uh, what we call physical reality, this beta wave field, is a portion of who we are, uh, but not the, the totality, the wholeness of who we are. And the idea is to bring the wholeness of who we are back into our state of awareness. The whole of who we are includes the beta wave, the alpha wave, the theta wave, the delta wave, and what we're now commonly calling the gamma wave. All of this is who you are. All of this is reality. And as you've heard me say now and again, all of reality, visual reality, is a dream.
So how do we bring dreams back with us every day? What's required? Um, I'm going to get into maybe a bit of this now. The first thing that's really important to do is to set, set out your ritual. Uh, so in the morning, each day, uh, journaling, making a log of your evening is important to help bring mm, just that awareness that there is a dream state, that there is a process of moving into, through, and out of what we call our dream state into our physical state. Uh, and, and grounding that here, you're going to ground that here by making the log, by deliberately opening the stream and putting pen to paper and grounding it here. When you do that every day, it gets easier and easier to bring back content. We're going to do this again at night just before going to bed, uh, opening the page to your log and very minimally writing down the coming date, the location, where you are, where you're sleeping, anything else about your sleeping position you want to mention, such as which way you're going to face the crown of your head or if you're going to try something different with your sleep position, such as moving down to the floor, uh, sleeping on the sofa, uh, sleeping with your head at the foot of the bed rather than the top, anything. Lots of things are tried. Uh, and the time. Then bringing your intent to bring awareness into your dream state and to carry that awareness with you through the night and into your daily state of awareness as you wake in the morning. So this is how we uh, put our markers on the day as we wake and as we go into the night, in the night, for this purpose, with this intent, intent to bring back awareness of the dream fields. When you go to make your log in the morning, even if you have zero recall of any symbol or scene or scenario, write down something. Uh, you can write down that you, for instance, did not bring anything back and how you feel about this, how that uh, creates a sort of a torque with the energy in you combined with the intent to bring back that awareness. Um, as you begin to put pen to paper, you may realize that certain symbols begin coming back to you and you write those down. Nothing is too small. Go for a single symbol, uh, a, a blue ball. Uh, uh, the, uh, I was somewhere dark. <laughs> Something about what happened, anything. You could write something new you're going to try to attempt to bring back more recall. So make a plan, a plan of action, a course. Lay out the course for yourself, new things that you're going to try. Okay, so any of this and all of this are things that you could write down even if you brought back no symbol with you. Another thing we can do uh, when we have a really high intent to bring back awareness of the dream fields is to take a look at our diet and the things that we're ingesting because some things will aid you in uh, more recall, more awareness, and some things are uh, very definitely disadvantageous are very definitely disadvantageous to you such as uh, anything that uh, creates spikes, highs and lows uh, in your energy field, such as caffeine, nicotine, alcohol, uh, sugar, refined sugar, not fruit sugar, refined sugar, things like this. Um, 
things that are very heavy or concentrated, you know, you might go for lighter foods, you know, rather than meats and potatoes or something like this, notably around bedtime. You might try uh, stopping eating three hours before going to bed so that your body has a chance to digest everything that you've eaten prior to going into the night. So it can use 100% of you uh, toward your goal, your intent to bring back more awareness. Uh, that's a big one. Hydration is also uh, a very large issue. So when your conscious state of awareness is holding on to frequencies much higher than what is, it is accustomed, frequencies higher than the beta frequency weight, your body is going to require more fluids, uh, definitely sufficient fluids, and as you get better and better at this, more fluids as you go into the conscious uh, shifts into out of body states and bringing back the full awareness of these, uh, it grows even more. So hydration, figure out how much water specifically, uh, good quality water you need uh, for optimal recall. When I first started going out of body, I noticed I needed to jump from roughly seven, eight cups a day, which was sufficient prior to then, to up over a gallon. Yeah, and without this, uh, well, there was no without it. I literally couldn't not drink the gallon. I mean, my body was just needing more and more fluids, and I could see the correlation between the one and the other, between awareness of higher frequencies and carrying those higher frequencies in conscious awareness here in physical space. Again, requires sufficient hydration. The last thing I'll mention in this video is uh, a clear and present desire. So the desire to do this uh, has to be high. It, it has to be present, uh, immediately present and set. Uh, without this, there just isn't the, mm, the, the right energy, the right impetus uh, to carry this, not just into a single day or a single week or a single month, but into your life and being your lifetime. Yeah, that just needs to be there. And so uh, building that intent um, or mm, that energy and that momentum by coming into the awareness of you know, what the benefit of this is is something that's important and again we'll go into this in the next video